Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API Development using Silt Authentication. Inside this video, we'll see Code Igniter for installation using Composer. If I back to slide, so inside the last video, we had seen and discussed all about the playlist plan that will cover inside this entire course. So to start all about the development concept of this Code Igniter 4 course, first thing first, we need to install the Code Igniter 4 installation setup into a local machine. If I go to folder structure, so we'll install Code Igniter 4 setup using Composer inside this folder. Let's go back to browser. We can see we are landed on the Code Igniter 4 and this is the official website that is codeigniter.com. So as simple as that, click on download. Here we can see that here we have two versions available. This is the legacy version that is Code Igniter 3 and here we have Code Igniter 4 which is the latest version and it is running 4.3.4. .4. Let's click on download. And we can see that it has downloaded a zipped folder. But we are not interested to actually install Code Igniter for setup using a zipped folder. Instead, we want to install using Composer. So what we have to do, click on User Guide. It will take you to the documentation links. Inside this Getting Started, if I scroll down, we can see Installation. And inside Installation, we can see Composer Installation. Let's click on this very first link. If I scroll down, now we can see that inside this installation, here we have a Composer command available. This is the recommended method by using we can install Code Igniter for setup into a local system. But if you are interested to install using zipped folder, you can also do that. So what I will do, I will copy this command. Let's get back, get back to slide, open a new tab pasting it here so we can see that composer space create hyphen project space code data for forward slash app starter and finally we have project hyphen root this is the project folder name what will download and install into our local system so if we want to change the name of folder so let's say that ci4 hyphen and this is api development course so this is ci4 hyphen api hyphen sailed so this is the folder we'll download using this composer command and one more thing actually we are doing all about the installation using composer so first thing first you need to make sure that inside your system composer must be installed so how to verify that inside my system composer has been installed or not Let's get back to terminal. So to verify, I will type composer, press enter. So once you type composer keyword inside your terminal and if it provides all about the command list, so it verifies that composer has been successfully installed. Or in case if you are getting some error, so before installing Code Igniter 4, I will recommend that first you need to install composer inside your local system. So Let's assume that inside your system, Composer is already available. So what I will do, I will go and copy this command. Let's go here, paste it here. So this command is going to create a project with actually taking Code Igniter for setup and it will create a folder with the name called ci4-api-sild. So let's press enter. As we can see that Installation now started and it is installing all about the Code Igniter for version 4.3.4. So we need to wait for a while. And successfully, as we can see that now installation completed. So successfully, it has downloaded our folder with the name called ci 4 api sale If I go inside that, it contains lots of folders as well as lots of files. So what I will do, I will go and open into my VS Code editor. So I will select this folder and I will choose one of the best editor that is v Visual Studio Code. You can choose your any favorite editor. So I will select that one, click on select. So successfully as you can see that we have imported our CI4 project into our VS Code. 
So what I will do, let's go and run this application into a browser. Go to folder structure. So to execute a code editor for startup, we have two options. Either we can type this project URL means project folder path into URL or the best and recommended option is to start PHP development server. So by using the latest feature of CodeIgniter 4 that is Spark CLI, by using Spark command we can start its inbuilt development server. So I will use Spark command to start development server. Let's get back to terminal. Clear this console. So we are currently inside this learn-ci. Let's type ls which is going to list all the folders and files inside this folder. So right now we have only a single folder. Now if we want to use the spark command to start development server, we need to go inside this setup because it's our code data for setup. So cd ci4. Now we can see that we are inside our project folder. So if I type php spark, press enter. So what is spark? What basically it provides and manage our application will discuss about the deep concept inside our coming video. So for the time being, we can see that we have used php spark which provides a bulk of command list. So inside this command list inside code igniter, we can see here we have a command called serve. Look at its single line description. It launches the code igniter php development server. So I want to use this serve command to start development server. So let's clear this console. So php spark. If I type serve, this is the command name, press enter. So we can see that our development server started that is HTTP localhost at 8080 port. So to access application, what I will do, I will go click on open link or copy link, go to browser, open a new tab, paste it here and press enter. So as we can see, welcome to Code Igniter 4.3.4. It means successfully now we have downloaded and installed the Code Igniter for startup into our local system. So this is all about how to use Spark command to execute and run application. Let's see that if we want to actually run the same application using this project root, how to actually execute that. Let's go back to our project folder. First of all, I will copy this path. So this is overall path inside my HTML folder. I will go here. Let's open a new tab. So localhost and here courses inside this courses folder we have learn-ci4 and this is our project folder. Press enter. Now we can see that it has listed all the folders and files what we have inside this project folder. Now we need to run this application, we need to go inside this public folder because it contains our main executable file that is index.php. Because inside this project root, we can't see any file that is index.php. So public folder is responsible to execute our application. Let's go back to browser. So I will go inside this public folder. And once we go inside this folder, we can see here we have some error that is oops, we seem to have hit a snag, please try again later. So how to remove this error and get to a perfect landing page. So to understand and fix this error, let's go back to our VS Code editor. First thing first, as we can see here we have a file called env file, I will go and rename this file from env to dot env. As simple as that, put a dot in front of this name. Now it will be dot env. So once we rename this file, let's go inside that. And here, the first value, this is our environment variable value. So I will go and uncomment that. So ci underscore environment and the value instead of production, let's say development. So if I save this value, let's go back to browser, go and reload this page. Now as we can see that instead of a oops message, now we can see a code igniter for exception. So this exception seems that 
cache unable to write and this is a location that is our project folder inside this folder we have a writable folder and cache folder if i go here so inside this project folder we can see writable and cache so this folder is not containing the perfect or let's say sufficient permission to actually read and write operations so what we have to do, we need to provide some sufficient permission to this folder so that application will execute and run here. So what I will do, I will go inside this terminal and inside this project folder, as we know that we have a writable folder. So if I type ls, which provides all about the listing of folders and files, so we need to give permissions of a cache folder from this writable so let's say ch mod or I will log in from root user. So inside this root means this is the root user. Now I will go inside this folder. So cd writable and inside this writable we can see here we have a cache folder. So I will give a sufficient permission to this folder. So successfully, if I type ls again, now we can see that inside this whole folders, inside this complete folders of this writable, now we have given all the permissions to all these folders. Once we do that, let's exit from sudo user and now we are logged in with a normal user. If I go to browser, Let's reload that because now we have given a sufficient permission to this writable and cache folder. Now we can see that we are getting the same landing page what we can see here by using our Spark CLI development command. So successfully, by the help of this video, now we have downloaded and executed our setup either by using Spark CLI command or by using our manual URL. So we will meet in the very next session. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.